Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a simple forecasting model with triple exponential smoothing in Python and pipe that over to Power BI. So there are quite a few steps here. So I want to take you through what we have. So this is our Jupyter Notebook. And we are using an airline data set that you can get from Kaggle, which shows us the data from 1949 to 1960 for airline passengers. So I'm going to load in my dependencies, which are pandas and numpy and matplotlib, and I'm just going to import those in. And then once I have that, I'm going to read in the CSV that has our airline passenger data. And while I'm reading that in by bringing that, that file name, I'm going to set the index column as the date column, which is called month in this data set. And I'm going to ensure that we can parse the dates. And if I check the head of that data set, which I've saved as that data set variable there, you can see that the head has the month as the index and then the number of passengers as a row. And that starts at 1949. And then the tail is from 1960. If I look at the info, we also can see that same data. There are 144 entries. And because we have set the month at the, as the index, there are 144 months. You can see it spans from 1949 to 1960. Now, we want to use forecasting models, and in order to do that, we need to tell the model the frequency. So a step that we need to do is set our frequency. So here's our data set variable, and then we use a dot notation for the index, and then another dot for frequency, which is abbreviated as freak, and then we're going to use the month start, as our frequency and there are a whole lot of different things you can change here. you can change it to the day but our data is broken up by month starts as you can see here now if I looked at the info you can see there is a new feature there which says frequency you can see here it's not and there's monthly frequency next if we plot our data we can see the structure of our data and you can see that we are growing exponentially so this is going to be very important to notice when we put our model together so next I want to train the model and we need to break up our data set we know our data set has 144 rows so I want to use the first 130 rows as our data set which equals a first 130 months and then the last remaining 14 months and if I take our test set and plot it you can see that that has worked and we only see the last 14 months and if I plot both the train and test set you can see there's the first 130 months at the top and the last 14 here now the model that we're going to be using is triple exponential smoothing the Holt Winters triple exponential smoothing model for our forecast and we're going to get that model from stats model and what you're going to do is from use this command from stats model .tsa .holt windows import exponential smoothing we're going to use that as a function but we need to set the parameters as that function and fit our data to that model so I'm using the variable model and I'm using exponential smoothing and then I am isolating our passenger set in our training data here and then you have the trend the seasonal and the seasonal periods which we need to define and remember uh, our data looks like it's growing exponentially instead of in a linear fashion so I'm going to use multi the multiplicative model instead of the additive model of for defining our data and you can if you look at these two images here you can see the additive seasonality is more linear and then multiplicative is a little bit more on the exponential side of things 
Now you can you can mix and match, and you can try to see which one gives you the best results. So once I've defined that model, I fit our training data to it using the dot fit function, and then I want to plot our test plot, and then use the model and use the forecast function to forecast 14 months forward from my training data which matches our test data and if we plot both of those we can see that the model adheres quite well to our data now that we know that we have a decent model and we can also adjust how many periods forward we are forecasting using that forecast function you know that we had the last 14 months, which are represented here, but I have changed that to 36 months, and I forecast it forward. So once we have this, we can create a dashboard that does the same thing. But let's look how we use that code in Power BI. So if I go to the edit queries, so I've quickly dupl I've duplicated that data set, just clicking the right click and duplicate it. And I've gone and run my code on the duplication. The way we would access the Python scripting is going to transform and go over to run Python. And then I would take the same steps that I took in our Jupyter Notebook. And you can see it's somewhat truncated. But let's take a look at the code. I imported pandas and numpy. I set the index as we did in the previous Jupyter Notebook. We set the frequency of our data set to monthly start. I call the exponential smoothing model. I fit our data set to that. And then I created a variable here to get the range. And the reason I've done that of the range of months because our output doesn't give us a month column in Power BI. So I just created a month column that says from 1961 is our start date and I want 36 periods for it and the frequency is month starts. And then the, what I did is I used the model prediction to predict 36 months forward and then I created a simple data frame with the range and our model predictions. And I hit OK. And you can see our output of that would be these two tables. And if you click prediction range, you would get the 36 months of predictions. And then I just changed that to a whole number. And then you can append those two together and add a grouping for forecast for your forecasted data. And you'll see what I did with that. So once you have that, you can create a nice little dashboard here. And we can see the number of months total that we have. And that's actuals and predicted, which is 180 months. And you can see we have 1949 to 1960. And we're forecasting from 1961 to 1963. In the orange is our forecasted data. And in the blue is our actuals. And we have this slicer here to say, OK, give me the actuals, which is 144 months with 40,000 passengers. And then forecast was the 36 months that we forecasted and 21,000 passengers. And we have a table here that also has all our forecasted data and our actual data, which we can slice. I hope that gives you a good indication of what we can do with Power BI and Python. Thank you.